Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between Weibo Gaming and T1 during the World's 2023 Grand Final. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Watch out who's going to be able to get done on this version of the Ari and I have to have a feel that uh, the Ari AD variety should be better in lane uh, against Faker as well. Don't really need to land as many spells if you just right click people. I like that idea. But Weibo going to be able to grab themselves the first streak. Should mean the scuttle here as well from Weiwei is getting double duty done. And they are going to be able to grab this off the back of their very, very, very supreme control of this bottom lane. Yeah, this all goes back that can enable you. As I say, that owner is in top. Yeah, Zayas dashing forward. The needlework is out. Snip, snip. Going to connect, but doesn't do too much. And in goes Ona. The flash oh! out oh, was incredible from the shy. Ona oh! gets taken down to, oh my goodness, about one health, but will be able to walk away. But I don't think he's going to be excited about ganking the shy anytime soon. Although Zayas what? is just going to go. That is just not fair. That is the shy. Right, you could just stay at your tower and farm it up. He didn't want to lose the wave, but he's the one who goes aggressive. Now he's going to get zoned off the bot wave. So T1 Whoa. punishing so heavily here. Yeah, the flash forward from Carrier finds the handshake this time. The Infernal Chains come in. He's lit on fire. He's feared, and Kumayushi cashes in. It's the Shy getting way down in this game now as Weibo have their bot lane up top. Zayas will not be an easy dive here. He is healthy, and he's got the ultimate back. They're going to look for it, though. Yeah, we'll see what he can get done here. The Flash Twisted Advance comes in, and now Zayas just trying to do what he can to stay alive. It's working! And he's going to be able to dash back towards the minions. Now Faker turns up. He's got his own nature's grasp. But Shahu is going to join this one. And Zayas is running the wrong direction. We'll see how much time he's going to be able to buy here. Because maybe this is an execute as he heads toward the turret. And there it is. Oh, oh my god. Everything is becomes that much harder when you don't have the extra electrocute damage. When you don't have that early mythic completion. But it is going to be Weibo taking the second dragon here. We know it's not going to be a Chemtech oh. Soul, so it should be a good one. Yeah, and it's also going to be a Teleport in T1. Not wanting to give this one up as Faker turns up. Nature's Grasp going to guarantee the dragon to hostile takeover, chasing Weiwei, but just dissipates before it gets there. Once again, hey. it's going to be a Cloud Soul. Love to see it. I could imagine he is the guy. And this has been the story for this T1 roster. You know, they have been so close so many times. Four times they have lost in an international game five and not been able to claim that big title they've been chasing with Zayas showing up so far. Yeah, another teleport to come in here as they do manage to secure this Rift Herald. We'll see where the Weibo can get themselves out of here. Light gonna be hostile takeover, but he's the only one. And now Zayas looking for the target. Faker dives in though as well. He's gonna collect the first with the help of Ona. The Shy goes down, the rest of Weibo will scatter, but they do get the objective and only lose one for now. And Weibo gonna be having a really tough one for them to fight. And Zayas is gonna be able to knock down this turret on the bot side get even more gold in their pockets prior to it. Snip, 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 and oh down goes the turret. That is the first one of the Ooh. game. Completely unanswerable. He is so far ahead in the majority of metrics right now as the Rift Herald is going to park itself in the mid lane. Immediately that turret bot lane should be answered, and there goes the charge. So T1 are going to lose uh, the no lady one. with the and scissors. It's, it's also Zayus getting a turret, the nice first turret, which is would be some much-needed gold for Weibo. Now they're going to try and contest the Drake with very little vision. Well, Zayas on a flank they angle here as well. Crisp going to be spotted, but he does put that ward down. That is going to get there. The Drake going down very, very low, and now the paranoia comes in. Faker looks for the Spirit Rush, and he does find it. The hostile takeover is massive, and they get rid of Light immediately. Weiwei taken down for the double kill for Ona. Xiaohu now trying to get some damage in the back, and it does take down the Nocturne, but it's Chris fighting on the bottom side of the map, but Kumiuchi is going to cash in once again, and T1 wipe the fight. They outfight. They get all the kills. It is seven to one. They're gonna take the dragon. The only thing that was working for Weibo in this game. And it's again, I think, that sense of desperation. They don't have a great vision set up. They don't know from which an owner has his ultimate available. And there are a couple of key ultimates that aren't there, right? You don't have the Maokai ult, that, or uh, rather the uh, uh, Senna ult. And that's such a big defensive cooldown. And again, look how they orchestrate this. Faker comes in from the top. Owner turns off the light. The hostile takeover comes across everything all at once. And it's so difficult for Weibo to be able to effectively communicate how to play out this team fight. So everyone scatters. They're all flashing, every man for themselves. And when you go into that kind of fight against T1 with this composition, you are sure to always lose.
An early game started. He has been cashing in and Weibo trying yeah. to start something here. Here's another one. The Nature's Grasp. They all line up behind, but it's a decent charm to come through their hostile takeover for some phenomenal disengage. And it looks like T1, they don't want to deal with it. Faker dashes over the wall. Remember, they don't have a turret here. The charm is going to split them. Carrier tries to get it. He goes forward and then just explodes. And then Ona thinks that that's his moment. It's a double again for this Nocturne. And he survives the logistics. Protocol coming in from Kerry at a minute. And close to checkmate in game number two. It's really hard as well, considering the fact that T1 had already built themselves a 1-3-1 composition. There is no comp in the game that is more. Not, nothing too much more going to happen. T1 with the opportunity to stack four Cloud Drakes. When you and talk going to start with the second. Exactly. When you talk about the, the comfort and the ability to go towards things like the Lee Sin, I think that has been somewhat indicative of what T1 have wanted to do here at Worlds. And the meta shifts that they have brought in as owner, maybe looking for a fight. Draven, being able to see these iconic picks and their comfort is working out so well. Ooh, paranoia comes in once again as the flash out from the Shy may not be enough. They're under the turret. Owner was tanking it up. And Zayas is going to finish it. Inner turret should now be next on the clock. And because the rest of T1 is standing guard, Weibo Kong reactively, the Weibo comp. Individually, they can pick up very well, but if you don't get to the objective first, it becomes very hard to contest, and right now, that's not the case. Yeah, they're definitely not there first. The Baron is down very, very low. There's the Paranoia as they look to try and burst down the Baron. They do collect it, and now the hijacked ultimate comes through from Baker. Now Zayas dives in. He's taken matters into his own hands. He hasn't taken any damage. Wait, wait, has to run away. He gets thrown back by the Bramble Smash, but the damage is already being done. Baker goes gold and does have to flash as Light's doing a fair bit of work with these Rens into the back line. But T1 just took a Baron, they got five out. And Gwen truly is immune. Zer and three items. <laughs> Okay, yep, Kamushi just having a good time, and he knows that he is not the main character necessarily. He's just been able to sit back. And it's because it's a clutch! And, and this is the problem. Once you fall behind against a one fluent comp with a Nocturne, like, what do you do? If you try to collapse, Nocturne presses R, you don't know how many people are coming, you don't know how many people are responding, and T1, they're looking for more. Yep, Shahu already taking a bit of poke damage. Light will turn up. As four members are here, teleport event not available for the Shy, but they dive in, the turret goes down, the needlework just rips the center to shreds, and Zayas just by himself destroying everyone! Hostile takeover comes in, Light has the cleanse, but you can't cleanse death, it's a triple kill for Zayas, and they'll get to work on the inhibitor, it might just be the game right here. Zayas playing like his namesake, a god, this guy is going crazy in the finals! Just extraordinary as this helps clear up this second Nexus turn at T1 at match point already. These were some of the best highlights from the world's 2023 Grand Final. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.